Reading, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Bukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect, and to the Akim out there, out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice, right? The scriptures tell them to do so. Blocking the fiery darts of Satan with the shield of faith. I'm going to say shalom to you, brothers, as well, all right? Keep fighting the good fight of faith and continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel spread it across the four corners of the earth, right? To the aqua, which is the sisters out there listening and learning in silence, right? Reverencing their husband if they have one, all right? I'm going to say shalom to you, sisters, as well, all right? And I want to try to start something. I'm going to see if I can finish it. Or whatever, but it's daily reading, whatever, you know, I decide to read. I want to try to um, do Wisdom of Solomon all the way through and then move on to the next books. <laughs> you know, just do a daily reading, whatever the Lord put on my, my spirit to read or whatever, whatever he put on my spirit to just read chapter here, chapter there, you know, and uh, really, um, you know, ex expose, uh, you know, the wisdom, not so much exposing it, but, you know, sh and the Lord sharing, um, you know, his wisdom with us, you know, so we got to share with the world or we got to share with, you know, the elect, of course, for now, you know, and, um, you know, this is just something I just wanted to start off. So we're going to start at Wisdom of Ch Solomon, chapter one, verse one, all right? It said, uh, love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, that where heart is uh, linked to your mind, right? And in simplicity of heart, seek him, all right? And that's letting us know right there, man, the simplicity of Yahweh Shai, man. He was simple, you know? Hey. It didn't take much, you know, for him to get his point across. So guess what? We got to be the same way. In simplicity, we have to seek, you know, seek the Lord. <laughs> right? And it say, ye that be judges of the, of the earth. All right? Right? And that, and that's um, the judges are, are the gods, you know. Gods of the earth. All right? Which is what? The, you know, Yashua Allah. Israel, the prince of the power. When you break down Yahshua Allah, when you break down Israel, it breaks down to what? The sons of God, the prince of the power. All right. It says, verse two, for he will be found of them that tempt him not and show up himself unto such as do not trust him. Right. So he not gonna show he not gonna um be found in them to tempt him not. All right. And that's that's pretty much, you know, Esau Edom, man. You know, with these wild, weird ass, you know how sometimes they be doing those uh, mountain climbing or jumping off the plane or you know, swimming with sharks and all that, you know what I'm saying? They they just pretty much the, the daredevils of the of the nations, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know? So, hey, hey when, when Satan brought, you know what I'm saying, um, um, the Howard Shai, you know, to that mountain, you know what I'm saying, and was tempting him. I believe it's in Matthew chapter 4. Okay? Hey, look, hey, he, 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 he took... Yahweh shot to that mountain and say, hey, guess what? You, you you jump off this, you jump off this mountain, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the angels pretty much, I'm roughly paraphrasing this Matthew chapter 4, I know, starting at verse 1. Okay, and he said, hey, if you jump off this, man, hey, the angels will catch you before your feet dash to uh, the stones. Okay? So pretty much, he was uh, uh trying to get Yahweh shot to commit suicide. 
All right. And saying, guess what? Hey, the angels going to give charge and catch you, you know, for your feet that is stone. Hey, what the Lord responded and say, he said, hey, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power, man. Right? All right, because he can't be tempted. <laughs> you know, neither does he tempt. You know, uh, that's in uh, James chapter one. Let me go to, um, let me go to this because I'm quoting too many scriptures. Matthew chapter four, first, um, yeah, take it to the holy cities. It's this, uh, this Matthew four and five it says, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set up him on a pinnacle, right, of the temple. All right, so you see he put him on the pinnacle of the temple. All right. It said, and said unto him, if thou be the son of God, right, uh, it said, cast thyself down, for it is written. You see that? Cast thyself down. Cast is to what? Throw thyself down. He, he tell him, go on top of the, of the pinnacle of the, of the temple and throw yourself down. <laughs> you know? He said, for it is written, he shall give angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands, they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against thy uh, a stone. You see that? So Satan was, he was trying to get, hey, 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 the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to pretty much, you know, cast himself down from the temple. Right? You see that? In spiritual sense as well, <laughs> hey, when you cast yourself down, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, 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 hey, you pretty much, he wanted him to, to denounce his throne too as well, spiritually, metaphorically. You see what I'm saying? Wanting him to denounce his throne. Why? Because he used the temple, pinnacle of the temple. And what's the temple, man? It's a sacred, holy place. Okay. So if you can, if you can receive it, you know, spiritually and metaphorically, casting itself down, all right. Hey, it's impossible for him to do. All right. Okay. It said, listen to Yahweh Shai's respond. It said, Yahweh Shai said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey, you can't tempt the Lord thy power. You see what I'm saying? All right? Neither will the Lord tempt you. All right? And that's in what? James chapter 1. All right? James chapter 1. Right, I believe it's verse. Mm. Lucky, give me a second. Is that one? Here it is. Okay. It said, James, this is chapter 1, verse 13. It said, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the, of the most high power. Okay? For the most high power cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. You see that? Neither he tempted any man. All right? So, Yahweh Shai, he knew, hey, he knew them scriptures, man. Okay, so he wasn't going to tempt the Lord, thy power, man. He wasn't going to tempt Yahweh, all right? All right, so, hey, as as we go back to uh, uh, what Wisdom of Solomon, it said what? Hey, you can't, it said what? For It said, um, Slaki, it said, for he will be found of them that tempt him not, you know? So I just gave you an example of that, all right? I just gave you examples of Yahweh Shai when he was on the pinnacle of the temple. All right. And I just gave you in James chapter 1, verse 13, I believe it's 13. I'd be forgetting. Yeah, James chapter 1, verse 13. Hey, guess what? Hey, the Lord said, guess what? 
Hey, he don't tempt no, uh, he can't be tempted, neither will he tempt you. Okay? Neither will he tempt you. It said, and show up himself unto such as do not distrust him. All right? So the Lord ain't going to show his face, you know, and, and, and with somebody that don't distrust him. It's all about faith, man, and having that faith. All right? What does Hebrews chapter 11 Verse one, verse six says, it says it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. Roughly paraphrasing. I'm going to get it. I'm going to try to get everything I paraphrase. And if I don't, then it's a lock you. Right? This says. Oh, no, this is verse four. Hebrews six, verse four it says. For it is impossible for those. Slack you. No, that ain't it. Oh, that's Hebrews 1. I'm looking for Hebrews 11. It's a lock it. Yeah, Hebrews 11. Well, hey, what is faith? Hey, faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right. Hey, so the Lord, pretty much, hey, hey, he wants you to believe in his coming. He wants you to believe and trust and have faith on his coming. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, right? Hey, guess what? We don't have the kingdom yet, right? But the Lord wants you to have faith and trust that he said this kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another. This kingdom, what? Was, it's going to be the end of Esau's world and the beginning of ours, which is Jacob. Okay? We have faith in that. Okay, but guess what? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things is not seen. Right, we have evidence. Even though we don't see it, we have evidence. Let's look up evidence. Wait. Why do you have a shimmy on shot? It says evidence, right? Strong's G, 1650. Elechas. Elechas. Now, what does this say? Proof, a proof that which a thing is proved or tested, conviction. You see that? But this is it, proof. We don't have proof. All right? Why? We don't have proof. No, we have proof through the spirit. All right? But physically, at this present time, it's not. We don't have a kingdom. But guess what? The scriptures talk about what? The kingdom of heaven is with you. So as of now, right now, so he, he knew it wasn't going to come now. Just even when Yahweh came on the earth, he knew this wasn't his kingdom. All right? He said it himself, hey, when when um when, when they when they was delivering up, he said, hey, if this was my kingdom, you know, my servants will fight. All right? If he said, if this was my kingdom, my servants will fight. Well, if I if I go to each one, you know, um, <laughs> Scripture, man, we'll be drawn all out. But just listen to what I'm saying. Write it down and, and look it up. Okay? He said, my servants will fight. So what I'm saying is, hey, guess what? The Lord knew at that present moment that physical kingdom was not, you know, uh, at hand. But guess what? We had to start with the spiritual kingdom mentally. And that's what we're doing now. We're building a kingdom brick by brick which is person by person and soul by soul, spirit by spirit first. And then we're going to enter into the kingdom with great tribulation. We're going to have to go through some things. All right. But guess what? We don't have proof physically, but we have proof mentally, spiritually. Right. And the Lord is a, hey, it said that which by which that by which a thing is proved or tested. Right. And guess what? And he proven Right. And testing us. All right. As we speak right now. That's why I said, hey, we're not going to we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven with great tribulation. Right. We got to be proven and tested. So we are the evidence <laughs> because we made our bodies a living sacrifice. All right. This is this is everything I'm quoting is a scripture. I believe that's in uh, Romans. Making their bodies a living sacrifice. All right. Romans chapter 12. I ain't going to get it. But 
you know, I believe it's Romans chapter 12, and correct me if I'm wrong, right? You know, so we, we, we are the proven ground, our bodies, all right? This is the evidence. The evidence is what you see before you, man. Because when we go out there in the highways and byways, that's 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 evidence right there. Those are the temple. That's the temple being rebuilt. You know? That's it. Okay? So let's go back to this. <clears throat> Hebrews 11. Right? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right? That's what faith is. And back to the point is what I was saying is uh, Hebrews 11 to 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please who? The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. It's impossible to please him. It said, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe in that he is. Right? And that's the name. That's his name. That's the meaning of, it, of his name. He exists. All right? And you can find that in Exodus chapter 3. All right? The name of the Lord, power, man. He revealed it unto Moses. Okay? The Lord thy power sent you, man. It says, it says, but but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that becometh, so like, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see that? Now, when we go back, to wisdom of Solomon, it said, For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and show himself unto such as do not trust him. The Lord is not going to show himself to somebody that don't trust him. He's unworthy to be, uh, to, to, sh to look. that person will be unworthy for the Lord to show himself to him. All right? And not a physical, you know, he's not going to physically show, come down and show his face to you and nothing like that. No, but he's going to, Give you his ways. He's going to give you the understanding of righteousness. All right. The, uh, that's why at first it said what? Love righteousness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, the ones that's going to love righteousness is going to be the judges of the earth. Why? Because we like things to be a certain way and decently in order. Right. Paul quoted that. That let all things be done in decency and order, man. All right. So we have to be in order. Hey, judges love things to be in order. Hey, order in the court. <laughs> you know, we have in, we have a live court right now, right before your eyes. In the field, which is the earth, which is the world. All right. All right. So I ain't going to, you know, go too deep into that. It said, and show up himself to such, you know, uh, unto such as do not distrust him. Right, so the Lord shows to what to the ones who who trust Him. You know, we trust in the Lord. We lean in on the Lord. All right, for, to guide us. We lean on the Lord. We're gonna have to lead on the Lord for food. You know. All right, was well, we lean on the Lord for all all our wants, man, and all our needs. Okay. It said for, for verse three, it says, Wisdom of Solomon chapter one, verse three, for forward thoughts separate uh, from, from the Most High and his power when it is tried, reproved the unwise. Reprove it the unwise. Okay? Hey, we, hey, forward thoughts. Let's look at that word forward for edification's sake. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Look it up in the. I uh, look it up in the. Edamon, it says floor turn against perverse. <laughs> you see that? And a lo the Lord is not dealing with a perverse spirit, man. Disobedient, pretty much. All right. Now you get the understanding of what floor it is. Difficult, like you, difficult to deal with or difficult to please. You know, you're you're uncoachable, as we they used to say in sports. You're uncoachable. All right. Hey, what this say down here it said about to depart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't finna deal with you if you're being fickle, man. One day you want to uh, be in the world 
and the next day, you know what I'm saying, you want to, um, the next day, shit, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, serving the most high, right? Hey, you, you on your way out, all right? So the, pretty much the Lord, hey, perversion, man, a perverse spirit. What this saying, pervert? It said, um, to turn someone, someone aside from a right religious belief to a false or inerramous or erroneous, it's like an erroneous one, right? To dis look what this said. To distort natural order. You see that? Ain't that what I just said earlier? I had judges like things in order, man. Not out of order, right? So that's perversion, man. That's being pervert or pervert. <laughs> You know, that's what the word pervert mean, right? To turn someone aside, all right, all right, religious, from a religious, right? Religious uh, belief or the false erroneous one to distort natural order, right? And this is, this is what the wicked is doing. They're distorting natural order, man. What the Lord made for it to be good, okay? The wicked and perverse, right? Or the forward, <laughs> you know, is 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 pretty much trying to overturn it and overthrow it. You know? It said to pervert, to under undo, to destroy, to look, overthrow, overturn. You see that? To corrupt. Right? And the Lord mingled a perverse spirit. <laughs> within this, within this uh within this world, but let's go back. All right, it said for forward thoughts separate uh from the Most High Power. You see that? Now we know what you know uh, what forward means. Okay, it said and his power when it is tried reproveth the unwise. You see that? Verse four, for unto a malicious soul. Wisdom shall not enter. And the Lord ain't finna deal with you like that if you're malicious, man. Right? And I'm guessing we can look that up too for the edification sex as well. The Lord is not gonna send his Holy Spirit into a malicious soul. Right? So a malicious soul is not going to, you know, is not gonna get the mysteries, you know, of the kingdom. It's like, I think I spelled that wrong. Malicious, malicious. Let's see how they spelling that. Oh no! Let me get this back. It's lucky. <clears throat> yeah. Malicious, right? I thought I spelled it the same. Yes, I do. Malicious. Wait a minute now. It's M A L I T I O U S. M A L I T I O U S. Tentative French. What the hell? Maybe it's not spelled like that. Oh, shit. It's lucky. <laughs> Malicious is spelled. Yeah, that's like old, <clears throat> old English right there. So. Right? So, malicious. All right? Harboring ill will. Enmity. Hostility. You see that? Showing ill will. Spiteful. That's what this say. Wicked. The Lord is not finna send his Holy Spirit into a wicked vessel, man. All right? The Lord ain't going to, ain't dealing with you if you're wicked like that, man. All right? Not unless he chose you to change your ways, man. Like he did with all of us, man. Right? It said enmity or ill will maliciously. All right? 
It said action is prompted by hatred. All right? The Lord ain't dealing with that wicked shit, man. He said, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Right? So if you don't have wisdom of the Lord, guess what? You're no different than a beast. You know, you're no different than a beast that walks around the field. You're no different than an animal. Because you don't have order. All right? It says, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You see that? What is sin? Sin is what? Transgression of the law. First John. All right? Chapter 3. Sin is transgression of the law. It says, for the Holy Spirit of discipline. Hey, the Holy Spirit of discipline will feed, will flee deceits. It will flee lying. Okay? The Holy Spirit of discipline, man. Right? And you must become a disciple to be disciplined. Right? The root word of discipline is disciple. You got to be disciplined, man. The Holy Spirit of discipline will feed the sea. Hey, so being disciplined in your belief, you know, and having faith, hey, the Lord going to suck with you. He gonna, the Lord going to deal with you. But guess what? If you being lying and injurious and, 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 and you know, the Lord ain't dealing with you. It said, and remove thought, uh, from thoughts that are without understanding. You see that? And will not abide, right? When unrighteousness cometh in, the word abide goes to the word abode. Abode or abode, right? Which is the house. So what you do in the house? You stay with them. You stay in the house. So the Lord is not going to stay with you, right? He's not going to live in you when unrighteousness comes in. The Lord is like, hey, hey, what it say? He's gonna flee, he gonna flee deceit. The Holy Spirit that comes from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is gonna flee you. Right? And will not abode when unrighteousness come in. The Lord ain't gonna stay with you. It says, for wisdom <clears throat> is a loving spirit. You see that? Right? Wisdom is a loving spirit. And will not a Hold on, Slack. Not now. Okay. It says, <clears throat> For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. Right? For the Most High is witness of his reigns. Right? And a true beholder of his heart and the hearer of his tongue. You see that? Wisdom is a loving spirit, man. And wisdom gonna let a hey, let a hey, hey, let a motherfucker know that hey, you going off, man. All right. And and hey, and you can tell the person with wisdom, man. You, you can tell a person w w without wisdom based on what what they hear and what they what they say. Say and they hear of his tongue. You see that listening to the Lord, man. It said, and will not acquit a blasphemy as his words, man. Hey, we going we to set what's crooked, you know, you know, right. You know, if he be of the Lord. Okay. It says this. For the spirit of the Lord uh, filleth the world, right? It said, and that which containeth all things have knowledge of, of the voice, right? You see that? What the script, what, what y'all should I say? My sheep hear my voice. All right. My sheep hear my voice. It says, therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid. Hey, Amen. You're going to stand out like a sore thumb. You're going to stand out. Neither shall vengeance uh, when it punishes pass by him. Hey, you're going to stand out, and the Lord going to know. You know, everybody going to know that the Lord dealt with you, man. All right? Right? Hey, one, what are the, one of the punishments that's coming to this earth, man? The judgments that's coming to this earth is hellfire, man. Through nuclear uh, warfare and when the Lord come down with the chariots, man. Burning the earth. 
with his fire and through his lasers. <laughs> All right? Okay? <laughs> she, you know, so... Hey, that, hey, that's that un unrighteous. The Lord is, is is burning up all the unrighteous things, man. Right? And he's going to bring vengeance. Right? And punish the wicked. It said, for inquisition shall be made unto the counsel of the ungodly, and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord. Right? For the manifestation of his wicked deeds. All right. <laughs> so it's an inquisition. That's like uh, in the judge, you know, when you're in the judge and they, hey, you got the prosecutor and, the, you know, and, and, the, and, and the defendant or whatever it is, you know, they inquisition and they're making a, hey, like, what we going to do about this? You know, that's what they do. <laughs> that's what the Lord is doing. Well, hey, in, in, the, in the heavens, not the Lord, but you know, the angel, hey, what, what's going to happen with this? All right? About the ungodly, man. All right? It says, shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. Right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest, man. All right? <clears throat> it says this, verse 10, for the ear of jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of murmuring is not here. All right? It says, therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting, right? And that's what's uh, whispering and speaking against, you know, the men of the Lord, man, murmuring, you know? It says, uh, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting, right? For there is no word so secret that shall go for nothing or for naught, and the mouth that belieth slayeth the soul, all right? Seek not death in the air of your life, right? And put and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. It says, seek not death in the air of your life. Man, yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, man, when you mess up, all right? Don't let your sins weigh you down, right? Pretty much. Don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't seek death because you made a mistake in life, right? Don't seek death because you made a mistake in life. It said, and pull not down yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. Don't kill yourself, man. All right? Or what did it say? A righteous man uh, uh, falls seven times. Right? Hey, right, but he get back up, man. Okay? And that word seven is completion, man. That could be 50 times, such and such. But you're going to get back up and get back on the right track. So don't be so hard on yourself. <clears throat> All right? It says, seek not death in the, in, in the era of your life and put not upon thy, yourself destruction with the works of your hands. For the most high made, most high power made not death. You see that? Hey, he made us to be mortal. He made all things good. All right? Neither have he pleasure in the destruction of the living. The living is the ones who has have the Holy Spirit. All right? The one who's right in righteousness. The one who's, who is going his way. Right? That's the only way you can be living. It is if the Lord breathed that breath, okay, which is the Holy Spirit into you. Because if that not so, then guess what? You 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 pretty much dead. You're the walking dead, right? The valley of the dry bones. All right, you have no life in you. Okay, it says. Um, <clears throat> he said, "For the, for the most high power made not death, neither have he pleasure in the destruction of the living." Right? It says. For he created all things that they might have their being, right? And the generations of the world were, were helpful, all right? So he created everything for his, for his own natural use, right? Even though we don't like rats, 
roaches, okay? And a lot of things are abominable to eat, you know, the swine, you know? Guess what? The Lord created it for a reason, you know? When he created shrimp, hey, he created shrimp not to eat and consume, but he created it to uh, filter, you know, the ocean. And when you take that filter out of the ocean, what is the ocean and the sea going to go? What's going to happen to the ocean and the sea? It's going to be polluted. Why? Because the shrimp and the crab and the lobster, all their job is to soak up all, you know, and filter and filter. Now that's a natural filter of the sea, of the, of the ocean. <clears throat> <It's like clears throat> okay so from when he created all things that they might have their being right he, he created things for his own purpose to naturally take place okay it said and the generations of the world were healthful right you see that and there is no poison of destruction in them right and just because he created them good, that don't mean he created it for food consumption. Okay? People thinking, oh, well, he made it good. He made it good. He blessed it. No. He made it to do what it's supposed to do. But the law still stands. You know? You don't supposed to eat the swine. All right? I believe Leviticus 11 give us the dietary law. <clears throat> Okay, so you gotta understand. You have to understand, you know. And uh, hey, <clears throat> you have to understand. Hey, what he created, he created for his own purpose. It said that they might have their being. All right, he made it to be in order for what he made it for. All right, it says. <clears throat> it says. And there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom uh, of death upon the earth. All right. It said for righteousness is immortal. Right. You see that for righteousness is immortal. For edification's sakes, we're going to look up immortal. He didn't make things to die. Well, well, he made things good. <clears throat> right. Immortal, deathless. You see that? <laughs> Imperishable, endless. Right. So he made us not to die, spiritually or physically. We had to do that. Hey, through sin. Okay, we was drawn away from our own lust in the garden, man. Huh? And through her, we all died. That just came to my way. Did that? <clears throat> so like. That's it. Ecclesiastes 25 and 24. We're going to go there right quick. We're going to go back here. As a matter of fact, I'll go there in the 16 and 11. Uh, both on. I got both on. All right. What is it? Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> Better known as Sirach. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It said Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 24. It says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. You see that? Hey, through her became the beginning of sin, and we all die. And what happened, man? She listened to that serpent, man, which was a witch. All right? A sorcerer in the garden. All right? And she was beguiled, you know, to, to eat of the fruit of the serpent's doing. <laughs> Pretty much. She was beguiled and deceived to what? 
do what the serpent was telling her to do. All right? All right? So through that, we all die. Hey, but the Lord for righteousness is immortal, right? Meaning what? Deathless. Imperishable. Right? And this is what we've been seeking to be ever since the garden, man. Deathless, man. To not die. But guess what? Through sin, right? We all die. All right? It says, but ungodly men with their works, you see that? <laughs> like in, like the serpent, but ungodly men with their works, that's like Esau, Edom, but ungodly men with their works, that's like two thirds of our people. You see that? And words called it to them for when they uh, taught to have it, their friend, they consumed to nothing. And that's what happened in the garden, man. Hey, when she held dear the serpent next to her as a friend and received the information and the knowledge and the wisdom on the left-hand side the serpent was giving her, guess what? She thought it to be her friend. Right? She thought it to be her friend. All right? So she held it next to her as if like she, she knew the serpent. They was dealing with and talking to each other as if she knew him all along. It said they consumed to nothing, to naught, and made a covenant with it. Hey, they made a covenant with death because they are worthy to take part with it. You see that? They made an agreement. They were a covenant goes into like an agreement. Or a pack. All right. They made a covenant with death, pretty much. Not immortality. Immortality is life. Other way, and that's the wisdom and the righteousness of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Said, but a godly men in their work with their works. Right? And the words, it's like and words call it to them. For when they uh thought it to have for, like, for they thought to have it their friend, right? They consumed to nothing. When you hold unrighteousness and ungodliness close to you, like a friend, right? Ain't nothing gonna come out of that, man. You get you're gonna get consumed with death, and eventually you're gonna die. Alright? What's that? Covenant with death. Just to prove that. Let's see if that pull up. If not, I'm going to have to Google it. Let me see. All right. Ooh. Isaiah 28 15. It be said, because you have said. It says, we have made a covenant with, with death and with hell are we at agreement. You see that? Why? Because you held unrighteousness and ungodliness close to you like a friend. It said, when the overflowing scourges shall pass through, it shall, it shall come unto us. We have made lies our refuge. That's the refuse goes into like a protection. Right? So when the serpent lied to Eve and deceived her, she believed it. Now she was given a way of life. All right? And Adam pretty much played the simp, like how we plan now. Okay? But we got to stand firm on truth and righteousness, man. That comes to the Lord, man. And fools, hey, hate darkness, man, when you shine that light. Whether it be a man or, 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 or whether it be a woman, they hate 
light. They love darkness, man. He said, for we have made lies and our refuge and under falsehood, which is lies, have we hid ourselves. Right. And what did they do in the garden? They put on fig leaves and aprons and all that shit. And they covered up themselves with a covering of and not of the most high power. Yahweh. The Lord didn't give those those give give them those clothing. To wear. <laughs> you know, pretty much if you if you look at clothing and how people wear clothing, that that shows an identity. All right. When you put skin and clothing on you, it is it, it, it spiritually and metaphorically that denotes to your identity. Right. And that's what we don't have as a people, as a whole. We don't have an identity. So that's what the clothes represents. That's what the skin represents. Right. So when they uh, in Genesis <clears throat> chapter three. When they put on fig leaves and aprons, you know what I'm saying? They put on someone else's identity. Right? Why? Because they made lies their refuge. And under falsehood, they hid themselves. You're going to hide yourself under somebody else's identity. And who and who do that to today? So-called black man. Yashua Allah do that. Israel. We hide ourselves under Christianity. We hide ourselves in, 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 in Islam. We hide ourselves into Hinduism and Buddhism. We hide ourselves into masonry and other philosophies and other customs instead of what the Lord gave us. We won't have to hide ourselves and we just be obedient to the Lord. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? We won't have to hide ourselves, right? We won't have to be ashamed. So we got to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? And make a covenant with life instead of with death. Right? Isaiah 28 and 18, it says, And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Okay, when the overflowing scourges shall pass through, then it shall be trodden down by it. Right. Hey, hey, let, hey the Lord is going to promise, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to bring us life. Okay. But guess what? We made a covenant with death, man. Okay. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon. It said, but the ungodly men with their works and, the, and words called it to them for when they thought to have it uh, their friend, they consumed to nothing and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it. Take part with what? Death, man. All right? So don't make a covenant with death. That was Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, all the way down. We read it. We went to a couple of scriptures, you know, you know, a couple of precepts. You know what I'm saying? To kind of, you know, we read some definitions to give a little edification. All right. And I hope someone was edified, you know, do this video. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. All right. Kwam Rashallah. We out.